Dude! That's my deer. Or... Six. Eight. Ten. Wolf, seriously, can you chill out? Well... Thirteen. Fifteen. Stop following me. Oh, you survived that. Oh, he just fell through the earth. Lovely. Got him on 15, 16, maybe? 17, 18. 20? Did I get that? Yeah. Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. You broke that gun, you bastard. There we go. Okay. Might actually have enough, because I'm not sure if I miscounted back there. 29. Nope, oh, we were accurate. So we need one more. That should do it. Next tab. <sighs> Too bad no one else is here. Ton of people at the events that they don't have to do anything but leech and leech and farm XP, but nobody uh, actually wants to play a game around here. It's pretty typical. Three. Please don't do that. Four. Rad kelp here is the slowest one. Five. There's no way I'm gonna get this and sludge. Six. Just takes too long. They're both slow, but this is the slowest one, I think. Seven. Eight. Nine. If you have multiple people here, it helps to have somebody just start on this immediately. Ten. Eleven. Would you stop it? You don't even belong in this habitat. Go away. Oh my gosh, die. <laughs> and you were one shot, okay. Nothing weird about that at all. Okay, Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. These bugs will not leave me alone. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. One day. Is this still working? No. What broke you? I don't know. One to one. One to two. One to three. One to four.
One through five. One to six. Where in the world? What just happened? 27. 28. Come on, two more. 29. Definitely 29. 30. Okay. Hab C. No, Hab B. Sludge Habitat is just going to have to be rank 1 animal or rank 0 animal. That's doable. In fact, most of the times when I've soloed this, it has been with two rank 3 animals and one rank 0 animal. If you are going to have a rank 0 animal, you want it to be uh, B or C. One of them has... I forget which one's which, but one of them has a blood bug and the other has a bloat fly. But they're both small flying things. They're pretty good at evasion. Hi. Right. Okay, where's my friendly? Mr. Bloatfly. Hello. Uh, I'll give you a turret at least. He seems to be safe in here for the moment. Let's go see how the others are doing. Should be Deathclaw in this habitat. Deathclaw, my alert queen, or king. You're like up in the air. There you go. Oh wow. Everything just spawned right there. Too many people I see doing this event get caught up with killing all of the enemies around where they're at. Um, don't do that. Follow your critter. Follow your critter and kill the enemies that are with him. If you're in an empty habitat, uh, there's no need to kill things in that habitat. By empty, I mean doesn't have a friendly in it. If there are no friendly but enemies in it, you don't need to clear that habitat. Okay, so... Mylert Mylert King is taking damage. Let's see if we can find him. Seems to be pinned in a corner. Where'd he go? There he is. That's wave... Wave 1 complete. We're working on wave 2 here. Okay, you're back to full. Um, Deathclaw. Deathclaw's taking damage. Where are you? One of these two over here. Right here. A Deathclaw. Have some health. A lot of people you'll see run the uh, run the alternate mode here through Quercus, whatever his name is. Where the animals will get an automatic heal in between waves. That is so not worth it. The amount they heal is not worth the amount of health they lose from refusing to run from danger. Like you'll notice my... My death claws barely even, or my bloat fly is barely even damaged at this point, and I haven't been with him this entire time. That's because he's not suicidal. <laughs> he's not running into danger, which is what happens when you activate the alternate mode of this quest. They run into danger instead of away from it. The little uh, bloat fly, he's pretty good at fleeing danger. He's not very good at attacking. There he is, just hanging out on the stairs. He's cool. You stay there, buddy. I'll kill this mole rat for you. So now we've got Alpha up somewhere. So Alpha will totally one-shot that guy if he gets his hands on him. Um, I'm guessing the Alpha is with the Mirelark King based on the rapidity with which he is losing health. Yep, there it is. Fog crawler. 
Let's cripple him. That'll help. Um, your friendly is always more important than the enemies, even the alpha. If he's low on health and there's enemies around, you need to heal that friendly. You don't need to kill enemies. Okay, now we can fight. And you don't have to kill the alpha. They're they're very tanky. They're very tanky, surprisingly so. Uh, but you don't need to kill them before the time runs out. You only need to keep your critters alive. Somebody else has showed up, which is why these robots have respawned. It looks like it's my teammate. Um, we're doing fine here, actually. 13 seconds left. All the critters are at full health, except for Deathclaw, which is only barely hurt. I think we're going to get perfect here. And lay a little damage into this guy. There we go. Perfect. Now let's uh, finish this guy off, and we'll clear the hab. These guys hit really hard in melee, FYI. Being able to cripple them is definitely a bonus here. You can see how tanky he is. There we go. Fifth claw running from something. Anyway, that is a successful Project Paradise. Um, basically solo. I, this guy did show up right at the end, but we'll call it. We'll call it pretty much solo. That's how you do it solo. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.